Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 5 facts about centipedes. Do you think you know all there is to know about these super scary bugs? Well, test your knowledge. Let's get started. Number 5. A centipede size. The largest centipede ever discovered was a giant African beast measuring over 3 feet in length. These massive arthropods typically have 15 to 17 pairs of legs on each of their body segments. However, centipedes come in all shapes, sizes, and numbers of legs. There are some centipedes that are only a few millimeters long and others that have just two pairs of legs per segment. So if you want to identify a bug as a centipede, it's not its size or number of legs that you should be looking at. Instead, you should be checking out fact number four, which will tell you exactly what to look for. Number four, what type of body does a centipede have? So what exactly is it that makes a bug a centipede? Well, centipedes belong to the class Chilopoda, which means that they are arthropods with a flattened trunk and one pair of legs per body segment. They also have a single, sometimes forked, cherchi at the end of their abdomen. And like all arthropods, centipedes have an exoskeleton, a segmented body, and jointed legs. Not all multi-legged arthropods are centipedes. For example, millipedes have two pairs of legs per body segment and are therefore not true centipedes. But did you know that there are even other types of centipedes? The subclass Scutigeromorpha has the common house centipede, which has 15 or more pairs of legs, and the Praetorian subclass has no less than 30 pairs of legs. Now that we know what a centipede is, let's see where we can find one. Number 3. Where do centipedes live? Since centipedes are found all over the world, the chances of you encountering one are pretty high. However, you may not even notice them since many prefer to live in damp, dark places such as under rocks, logs, leaf litter, and bark. Some species, such as the house centipede, prefer to live inside buildings during the day and go out hunting at night. They can enter homes through cracks in the foundation, gaps in windows and doors, or even hitch rides on other people or animals. Once inside, they tend to hide in basements, cellars, bathrooms, and laundry rooms, where they can live off of other insects that have made their way inside. Speaking of making their way inside, number two will cover exactly how centipedes hunt their prey. Number two, how do centipedes hunt? Centipedes are ferocious hunters. Their first body segment has modified legs that form claws used for digging and defense. Each of their remaining segments has a pair of legs used for walking and one poisonous claw. With the exception of the subclass Hoplobogrida, centipedes use their poison to immobilize their prey before eating them. The amount of poison varies depending on the species. And while it is enough to kill insects, millipedes, and even small vertebrates like lizards and mice, it isn't enough to pose a threat to humans. Although centipede bites can be painful and may require medical attention, fatalities are extremely rare. Interestingly, centipedes actually swallow their prey whole, although they do secrete digested acids to break their meal down, making it easier to eat. And finally, for those of you who made it this far, here is a centipede fact that may surprise you. Number 1. How many legs does a centipede have? As you may have guessed by now, there really isn't a certain number of legs that defines a centipede. In fact, there are species with as few as 15 pairs of legs and others with as many as 173. The name centipede comes from the Latin words for 100 feet, even though not a single species has 100 pairs of legs. So why aren't centipedes called something like 173 pedes or 173 feet? Well, the word centipede is actually an example of an approximate number in a scientific name. It indicates that the number of legs is estimated to be around 100. This is done because the number of legs is often variable and difficult to count accurately, especially for species that can grow to be hundreds of meters long. Thanks for watching. Do you know any other cool centipede facts? Share them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an awesome video. See ya.